boy. What's going on here? Oh, it looks like we're performing the Euler method. Awesome. Euler method for what? Approximating solutions to linear differential equations. Wow, this is math5.com. I love this guy. All right, let's get down to it. It's a little foggy. Um, 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 here, what I'm doing is I'm writing a nice little slope field. All right, sure. Where um, I'm going to have some input values in my first input value is x not y not. Now I'm defining some distance far enough away, h far away in x, and I want to find my new y. Let's see how we're going to do that. That's y1, by the way, not x1. All right, how are we going to do this? We're going to find our new height value by using our old familiar point slope formula. That's from, you know, algebra, algebra 1. So then, what are we going to do? We're trying to find our new height value, but we do know that the slope, m, is going to come from our slope field when we evaluate. And our new h, right. Here, um, my second component, you know, you take the first minus, or the second minus the first, and we go through and we do that. And it appears that x naught plus h minus x naught is going to be h. So now I'm plugging in those new values. So where I've replaced my slope from my point slope with um, the calculations from my slope field. So right, here we go. My new y value is going to be the slope field evaluated at the point times the step size h plus my old y value. Totally makes sense. Let's go through and let's find one of these guys. Ha, huh, box and flower. Hmm, it appears I have more to say on this. Oh, I'm reiterating that this is the new height when we go h far to the right. The new height is going to be the old height plus, ah, oh, slope is rise over run, and then we're going to multiply it by the run. We'll see the runs are gone, and it's going to be the old height plus the rise from point to point, aka your new height. All right, I have enough of the ideas. Let's get an example. Here I've set up an Excel spreadsheet, and I've taken my function across the top. Bam! If I was going to use Euler's method compared to a computer solution, then I've graphed the computer solution to our particular DE. Now I'm plotting the actual solution, or I mean the approximation using Euler's method. I've gone through and I've used a computer to find those particular points. We see Euler's method starts to get off pretty quick. Whereas in this example, it's not that bad. Ah, oh, just kidding. Looks like I put that one in the wrong spot. Go on. This is taking way too long. Yeah, I'm bored. Come on, connect the dots. All right, here we go. Um, what you see there is the computer used a different method. Questions. Congrats.